This is uh, St. George's Chapel uh, inside Windsor Castle. And it's where Henry VIII is buried and Charles I and several other monarchs. the Union Jack is flying, but she lives in the semi-state apartments, which could well be open because it's winter, so she has a view going out towards London. The gentleman here on the statue is Charles II. Now, at the time of the building here, there was a few refurbishments. Originally, we had a, apartments for Edward III in the 1300s, but then Charles II came along in the 1600s, he reclaimed the throne. Remember, Charles I had his head chopped off. We have the Commonwealth. He came back from Paris and he built the apartments for his queen, Catherine of Braganza, and himself. So in the 1600s, there's architecture of that time. But then we have also architecture of Victoria's time, the 1800s. So you get a mix of two eras as you walk through. You can probably guess the older part and the newer part. So you go through Queen's and King's apartments, but just check what, what you're looking at. It's either 1600s or 1800s. <laughs> okay. So we've climbed up to the dome on St. Paul's Cathedral. I'm not exactly sure how many steps we've gone up. I think we've gone up 300 or so of uh, 500 and some steps. That's called the Gherkin building there. The pickle shaped building, the bullet. She walked up by There's the Tower Bridge over there. That tower there is going to be the tallest in Europe when it's finished. I can't remember what it's called. I've got the name on it somewhere, but it's not on it's not facing this way. It's the Globe Theatre on the river. All right, now we've made it up to the top of the dome. We've climbed 500 and some stairs. That's the, Linda, that's the bridge we were on the other day? Yes. The Millennium, Millennium Bridge. bridge. Mm -hmm. 